John, are you okay? What's wrong? What's up? Oh, hey, little weird mini-me guy. No, everything's not okay. My Doberman's insane. That's what's up. Well, didn't anyone tell you about those few really annoying habits of the Doberman before you got one? No, little strange mini guy. No, nobody told me about that. But I wish they had. Look, I got my first Doberman over a decade ago, and although I love, absolutely love, this very unique breed of dog, I know for a fact that this breed is not for everyone, and I have firsthand experience as to why. So if you're considering getting Adobe, watch this video to the very end. And the first behavioral quirk of these dogs that can drive their owners absolutely insane, they never leave you alone. But John, isn't it a good thing that they're loyal and always by your side? <laughs> <laughs> you see, these dogs are never close enough to you. Are you watching TV? Well, they need to be in your lap. And sometimes that's even not good enough and it feels like they want to be inside of your face. It's pretty abrupt and a little jarring. Do you need to go to the laundry room? They're coming there too. How about the bathroom? They're going to try and force their way in there. And dare you go to the other side of a door and shut the door? Your doorman might just find out how to open doors themselves jumping up on you when you return, or maybe anxiety while you're gone, crying while you're away. It doesn't matter. These dogs want to be right there with their owners 24-7, 365. Another little hidden gem that's in store for you if you decide to own a Doberman, their water drinking and drooling habits. Now, Dobermans are not big droolers in general, but trust me, when they drink a bunch of water, which they do a lot, and they lift their head up, it's like Niagara Falls coming out of there, and they love to quickly shove their face right in your lap or on your shoulder, and it's just water everywhere. It can be extremely messy and kind of frustrating, and it creates what I call the wet sock zone in your house, you know, an area of your house where you walk through and your socks get drenched. Oh, and it's not just when they're drinking either. If you're about to feed your Doberman and for any reason you're making them pause or hesitate before getting their food, same thing. I swear you could sit here and watch these dogs shrink from the water loss when they get in their few drooling moments. So what's our next behavior that drives owners insane? Well, let me ask you, what happens when you mix a working breed of dog with a ton of energy, a ton of prey drive, with sharp little needle-like teeth and always wants to be right on top of their owners, all wrapped up into one immature little young puppy bundle? You get a terrifying puppy biting and nipping stage that causes their owners to go absolutely insane and may cause you to lose that nice full head of hair you might have sitting up there. And yes, please, please don't point it out. The next behavior quirk about these dogs that drives their owners absolutely insane, their anxiety levels. Now these are protection dogs first and foremost, right? So as a result, they have all these little features about them that helps them in that role. For example, they wanna be with you all the time, they wanna be on high alert, always scanning the area and wanting to fulfill that role of protecting you. Well, this means that they kinda of have an issue sometimes with you leaving the house or with you just getting your car keys, getting ready to leave the house or getting your coat on or walking towards the door, God forbid. And if they start getting into a little fit of anxiety while you're gone, they can do some pretty bad stuff like barking, whining and crying extremely loud, disturbing your neighbors, destructive chewing, urinating or defecating in the house. They can even destroy a whole room in your house. Go ahead, ask me how I know. Go ahead and ask me. Oh, John, I'm just so sorry. Would you just Go away, you little mini-me guy. Ah, you're driving me insane. Okay, to be fair, most of their anxiety revolves around just being away from you, which is kind of endearing in some ways, but if you don't put in the effort to address this and get them acclimated and desensitized to you being away from them, it can really cause you a lot of trouble down the road. So doorbell owners find themselves putting a lot of effort into this, especially early on in their dog's lives. I do want to take a quick moment to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, LidoCam. Now, LidoCam makes some of the absolute most popular indoor security cameras on Amazon that are remote viewable. In fact, their standard indoor camera and their 360 degree camera have earned the distinction of Amazon Choice uh, label from Amazon for both being reasonably priced and very highly rated. Both their standard indoor camera and their 360 degree camera feature full 1080p high definition resolution, built-in night vision, two-way audio, motion detection, 24-7 recording on a loop so you never miss any of your dog's crazy moments. They're both Alexa and Google Assistant compatible. Uh, they're super easy to set up 
and they have two storage options with a local SD card or cloud storage. And with the apps that they have for the iPhone and the Android, you can view your security cameras from anywhere and see up to 16 cameras at one time. In addition, the 360 degree camera allows you to pan and tilt the camera remotely while you're away so you can see all corners of your room and it features auto movement tracking in the room. So there's gonna be no surprises when you return back to your home, even if you've left your doorman all alone. If you wanna see the price of these best-selling security cameras on Amazon, take a look in the description down below this video. I will have links to both of these cameras and you might actually be surprised at how reasonably priced these cameras have gotten. And a big thank you to Lidocam for sponsoring this video because yes, us doorman owners, we love to have secure homes and a few good security cameras mixed in with at least one good doorman sitting at home and we should be all set. Thanks guys, let's uh, jump straight back into it onto the next behavior that drives doorman owners insane. The next way doormans tend to drive their owners absolutely insane, they're macho while they're on a leash. Now, a lot of people get these dogs because they look really good on a leash, and they do. They're very attractive dogs, but they also seem to know that they look good on a leash, if you know what I mean. You see, as protective dogs, they tend to be a bit macho at times and act a bit tougher just because they're on a leash. So, they're a little reactive to some things while they're out for a walk. But what surprises some new owners is how selectively reactive they can be. They can be fine with certain cars going by or motorcycles going by or even a whole crowd of people. But if they spot one person walking by them that's a little more straggly than normal, maybe has looser fitting clothes or maybe they're wearing all black clothes or have a hood over their head and they can't see their face very well, then they tend to react a little bit more to that person specifically. Kind of surprising to new Doberman owners. Hey, the good news here, guys, is that with an impressive dog like a Doberman by your side, their presence alone tends to solve a lot of problems before they even become an issue, if you know what I mean. And just a little tip for you Doberman owners out there, if you ever want your Doberman to meet in other dogs and you want it to go a little bit smoother and there's a safe way to do it off leash, try doing it off leash if it's safe to do so, because a lot of times these dogs tend to lose that little macho man chip on their shoulder as soon as they're off leash. Okay, so what makes all this worse with the Doberman breed? Why are these factors that are an issue with other breeds too sometimes way worse because it's a Doberman? Well, their extreme intelligence. That's what makes it so bad. Their intelligence has been studied before. In fact, I'll put a link to at least one of the most popular studies about their extreme intelligence, but they're smart enough to figure you out, to know when you're tricking them, to know how to compensate for things and behaviors that they think you're gonna do. And on top of that, they're a little bit on the dominant side. So this tends to lead to some of these things being even bigger issues and a little bit more likely to drive you insane than with many other dog breeds out there. All that said, guys, these dogs also have a ton of really good qualities, amazing qualities that makes this dog so unique and just so much fun to own, very different than any other breed out there. They are great dogs. And guys, before you leave, please don't forget to take a look for the link for the sponsor of today's video, Lidocam, in the description down below this video. These cameras are great ways to keep an eye on your property and your dog while you're away. So you know, even if your doorman's getting a mischievous streak, you know that they're doing okay. And anytime during your workday, you can always check in and you know what you're coming home to. If you wanna keep learning about this amazingly unique breed of dog, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell icon next to it to turn on all notifications. That's super important because we are releasing new videos about every two weeks here at Doberman Planet. And if you don't have notifications turned on, you can easily miss it. John, will I be coming back on the channel? No, little creepy mini me guy. You are not coming back. Okay, trust me. We're working hard to deliver quality over quantity here at Doberman Planet. So trust me, you're not gonna wanna miss any of our videos. Make sure those notifications are turned on. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Keep being great Doberman breed ambassadors. Take amazing care of your dogs and I'll see you next time.